subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Hey guys, welcome to Nika TV. My name is Malvika and in today's video I'm going to show you how to stop your concealer from creasing and I'm also going to tell you my top 5 favorite drugstore concealers. For concealer, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in Sans Sable. This is one of my most favorite concealers. So I'm just going to apply a little bit over here because there's a little bit of darkness. I'm going in my inner corner as well. So I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge. I think this is the best way to blend out your concealer or you can use your fingers as well. I would suggest you stay away from brushes because they might leave some um, streakiness on your face and you don't want that. So I'm taking my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to buff it in. I'm going to take the same concealer and I'm just going to put that on my lids as well. So this will help you um, prep for your eyeshadow at the same time. commonly asked question is how do i stop my concealer from creasing and this has been a big challenge for me as well but i finally discovered the best method which is known as baking so it's actually putting a lot of translucent powder on the areas that you put concealer um you want to let it sit for a while and then dust it off and then your concealer will be bulletproof so for my loose powder today i'm going to use the bharat and doris um loose powder Before I go in with my loose powder, I'm just going to take my sponge and sort of get rid of all the creasing underneath my eye. And then you want to dip your sponge back into the powder. And by looking up, this will help it from um, not creasing. So you want to place your translucent powder right underneath your eye. So you're going to let the translucent powder sit for about 30 seconds to 50 seconds not more than that because if you have dry skin it's going to be really dry underneath i have really tested this method out and believe you me this works the best so when i do this method um it sort of lasts the entire day and night it will not budge i promise you i guarantee you so what baking does is typically uh, when you put a lot of translucent powder on your face um your body temperature is about 97 degrees roughly so your body temperature when it's coming through it's actually cooking the concealer so it's really literally baking your face so that's why it's called baking and this method is guaranteed to um help you from creasing so now that i've let it sit for a while i'm just going to take any brush that i have and i'm just going to dust it off really lightly you don't want to move the concealer or foundation from your face so you're just going to dust it super lightly and get rid of the powder. So I'm just going to put a little bit of translucent powder over my eye as well. Now since I have dry skin, baking is going to make it a little bit more dry. So I'm just going to take a setting spray and spritz that all over my face so it's going to melt the powder into my face and give it a more natural look. So I'm taking the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray and I'm just going to put that all over. The powder has melted under my skin and it's looking really flawless. So I guarantee you that your concealer will not budge the entire day. This method has worked for me the best, um, and it's my most preferred method. Now let's move on to my most favorite concealer. So my most favorite concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me in Sans Sable. I love this concealer simply because it is full coverage. So if you're someone who's battling um, dark circles and are really concerned about what is the best drugstore concealer for you, this is going to be it. Um it is really buildable for medium to full coverage like I said it's best blended out with a beauty sponge um and yeah it also brightens the face which is just an addition my second favorite concealer is the LA Girl Pro Conceal high definition concealer this is amazing again i use this all the time uh, i'm in the shade pure beige so this is i can say light to medium coverage um so if you're someone that is battling um dark circles i recommend going with fit me but if you're someone that just needs a little bit of spot concealing and just basically a lightweight concealer i highly recommend this one it is really really good uh, and they have several shades um on nika and it's absolutely amazing this is best blended out with your finger or a beauty sponge My next favorite concealer is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. 
Um, I'm in the shade medium, but I use this concealer to sort of highlight um, the high points of my face, like on my forehead, my nose, my chin, my um, just right here on my cheekbones. Um, so for that, I use the shade Fair. This has a thick consistency, so this is best blended out again with um, a concealer brush or your finger or the beauty sponge. You can do this with whatever you like. This is buildable from a medium to a full coverage. So the next concealer I have is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade medium but um, I also use the shade light to highlight like you guys know. Um, I use a darker concealer to conceal my under eye and then use a lighter one to sort of highlight it. Um, so you can also mix concealers which is an amazing option. Um, now this is sort of a light to medium coverage. I don't think this is sort of a full coverage concealer according to me. Um, but what I love about it again is the brush applicator. So this gives you a very controlled precise application um, which I love. So the last concealer I have is the Pack Takeover Concealer Crayon. This is in the shade M21. They have a lot of shades but this one uh, matches me the best. And again, it is very travel friendly um, because it's not in a glass bottle and you just have to apply it with the applicator directly. So this concealer is best blended out with a concealer brush and not your finger or a beauty sponge. And this can be built to a high coverage. Um, so this is amazing. I really, really love this concealer. So that's all I have for you guys. Those were my top five favorite drugstore concealers and I hope I helped you with your concealer creasing. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you leave, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Nykaa TV. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.